Welcome to the web development course. Today I'll be taking you on the first model, Introduction to Web Design. In this model, we're going to be looking at what is a website and why is it important. A website is a collection of web pages attached to a domain. There is a particular domain name attached to this number of web pages and it is published or hosted on a particular web server, at least one. Now, to further break down this explanation, it means that a website must have a web page. A website must have a domain name. A website also must be hosted on a web server. Additionally, a website can also be likened to be a building block of the World Wide Web that allows us to assess vital information on the internet. Every website is exclusively dedicated to a particular purpose or a particular agenda. Websites do not just exist. Some websites are for transactions, some websites are for marketing, some websites are for e-commerce, some websites are for business introduction, some are blogs, some are for social media and information exchange, content creation. As you follow in this course, we will be introduced to some of the components that make up a complete website. So a web page is a digital document that is accessible via the internet. Now, for example, if you get a domain name of a website, let's say www.amazon or www.google.com or you get www.jumia.com typed into your browser and you click on search. Now, what it does is that it takes you to a page called a web page. And the web page in a website can be more than one. It can be two, it can be three, depending on the purpose of that website. The web hosting is a service that makes it possible for your website to be accessible on the World Wide Web. And there are different web hosting services. It is left for a designer or the developer to choose the particular web hosting service that he or she wants to use. It's important to choose a nice and a good web hosting service to avoid issues while your website is being in use. This is important. It's a key factor because many websites might be going through downtime, difficulty in usage, and other possible difficulties because of wrong choice in web hosting services. So it's important to make a good choice while you are choosing your web hosting service. The next component we are going to be looking at in this course is the web server. Now, what is a web server? A web server is a hardware device that serves the internet users with the information they are requested for. For example, if you type in a website, let's say www.amazon.com, you are making a request. You are calling upon a particular information. So what the web server does is to fetch that information and makes it available to the internet users. Some of the web servers that we have are the Microsoft Internet Information Service. We have the Apache, we have the Lightspeed. So these are some of the common web servers that we have. The next component we are going to be looking at is the domain name. Now the domain name is just a unique identifier for every website. Just like every house has an address, number 12, this, this, that. Number 13, 15, number this, number that, plot this, plot that. So every website has a unique identifier. That unique identifier is what is called the domain name. Some of the examples we have are www.amazon.com, junior.com, digitalrings.ng.com, and some other websites. You may have, you have your website, your school website, and other websites available at your disposal. The next component we are going to be talking about is the web address. The web address is also known as the URL, which is the Uniform Resource Locator. The primary purpose of the web address is to enable you locate specific information on the internet. You may not have need to go through the domain name, land on the home page, and all that. You may just want to get a specific information. So that specific information is attached to what we call the web address. The next component we are going to be looking at now is the home page. Now, what is a home page? The home page is simply the starting page 
the first page on every website when you access the website through the domain name which is the root name now when you log into a website the first page you see from the domain name is called the home page now the home page introduces what the website is for to discover the components of the website we need to also look at different types of websites we have the number of websites so that as a web developer or as an internet user or as somebody who is wanting to bring their business to the internet you need to understand that there are different types of websites and these websites have different protocol they have different protocols and modality in development for instance an e-commerce website cannot be built the same way as a bank website the level of security that is involved in a casual website is not what is required for a financial or a transactional website you have the informational and content website now what is an informational or content website an informational or content website is a website platform where people go to source strategic informations where they go to make research inquiries they go to read news they go to get basic information it can be news information health information we have all kind of educational information course information resource information there are millions of informations and these informations are available through the word informational content website we have the e-commerce and the business website the e-commerce and the business websites are platforms where people transact buy items and make payments and these websites enable users internet users to exchange their money for goods some of these goods are also delivered at the end of the day to the internet user through those who are managing the website and the company that is in charge of the website so e-commerce website requires some level of security it requires a higher level of security compared to the informational and content website the next thing we are going to talk about is the social media websites and the online community websites these websites are primarily for exchange of information building relationships connecting with people across the globe we have the facebook www.facebook.com also have other communities like whatsapp the instagram but the primary thing about the social media is that it enhances communication it enhances interaction it also enhances relationship the next thing we want to look at is the impact of websites the significance of the website the importance of a website we are going to only be discussing for in this video first importance is that a website enhances learning and information sharing conventional form of learning is coming to the classroom sit down and watch the teacher teach now the internet has made it possible for an online learning people can now learn from anybody online from any part of the world it makes it easy and possible for people to learn anything online you can go to any website visit any website and get whatever information that you are looking for so the website has made this easy and possible for learning and also for information sharing the second importance is entertainment and media consumption so the website has made it easy for people to get entertainment from anywhere they are it becomes easy to entertain people online can watch football access a lot of platforms so entertainment becomes easier and cheaper if you want to watch football for instance you need a football is going on in singapore and you are somewhere in america or you're somewhere in the uk now you can be able to follow up this match live on the website the third importance of a website is that it serves the purpose of communication and publicity now it becomes easy for people to publicize their businesses publicize their information make available their research through their website the fourth importance of a website is income generation and monetization for example the youtube the platform is a monetized platform. TikTok is a monetized platform. Facebook is a monetized platform. Now, these platforms can generate income for users. Income generation and monetization is possible when you have relevant content appealing to your users. And when there is traffic, they generate income from these contents. 